Hello, my name is Dr. James Perkins. I'm a chiropractor and a naturopath. Uh, I'm the clinical director of Alternative Health Solutions in West Bloomfield, Michigan. Uh, my website is my-alternativehealth.com and uh, our phone number is 248-855-8707. Uh, we do a lot of sports chiropractic here, and one of the things that I've noticed over the years is the absence of cross-crawl patterns in female athletes. Uh, this particularly would be in younger females, and I'm going to explain to you real quickly the, uh, the concept here. Uh, it's well documented that out of every one male that has scoliosis, 10 females will have scoliosis. Uh, scoliosis is, uh, has many different, there are many different kinds of scoliosis. There's seven different kinds of scoliosis, but suffice it to say that the two major ones are genetic scoliosis and functional scoliosis. So functional scoliosis is a developed scoliosis. And it develops primarily because females have a tendency to walk much earlier than males. And so what happens is they don't develop much of a cross-crawl pattern. They're not crawling enough. So the left brain, which is supposed to operate the muscles on the right side of the body, and the right brain, which is supposed to operate muscles on the left side of the body, have a little bit of confusion in there because this cross-crawl pattern has not developed adequately enough. So I have a little a concept that I do with females that are young athletes who have a cross-crawl pattern deficiency, and it's a lot of fun. They do this, it helps tremendously. And so I thought I really wanted to get this out to the public if they could do this at home, uh, because if you have small children, young, young females that uh, have this uh, condition, you can actually help to reverse it to a certain extent. And so I'm going to show you a little exercise, and we're going to show you a little test to see if they have it. So it's very simple. The test goes like this. We have a young female in my office, and uh, uh, they're athletic. They want to be athletic. They love sports, and of course we want to keep them in sports. So what we do is we ask them to do a little examination, and the exam goes like this. Please raise an arm as high up as you can there. There you go. Now raise a leg. Okay, so now we see that our subject raised left arm, and when I asked them to raise a leg, I didn't tell them which one, this is the key, she automatically raised her left knee. It was comfortable for her to raise her left knee, stand on one leg just like that. She liked that, felt good. You notice she didn't do this. Now, I've had some young women that will do this, and they'll stop halfway through and go like this. That's a good sign. So the idea is we want opposite arm, opposite leg. That's our cross crawl pattern. When you see a young female or young male that possibly has scoliosis, invariably they will raise their arm, and then when you say, please raise a leg as high as you can, they will raise this leg like this. This is a pretty good indicator that they do not have a developed cross crawl pattern. It's that simple. So what we have them do is we say, okay, now raise your left arm like you did. Now raise your right knee. And invariably they will hesitate. They will go like this and then they will eventually figure it out and they'll be able to go like this. So the exercise at home every day is about 30 of these, like this. And you can do this especially just before an athletic event. It really helps to zero that brain right on in on cross-crawl patterns. They run better, hand-eye co coordination is better, stamina is longer, uh, they look better when they're doing it, and I don't care whether it's swimming, baseball, soccer, track, uh, you name it, they, you will see an immediate difference and so will the coach. So Sarah's going to demonstrate a uh, cross-crawl pattern. There she is, now she's happy, and her brain is happy and her brain is functioning much better. And over time, you have to do this every day for a couple months if they can do it. And over time, they, uh, they'll see big differences with this. So that is Cross Crawl Pattern for sports. Thank you very much. Please give us a call for more chiropractic uh, treatment for sports injuries as well as performance. And probably even more important, prevention of injury 
I think is even more important, especially for young people that are in athletics, and that's our goal here. So thank you very much, and enjoy.